Um, what, what is that called? The, the Antikythera anti mechanism. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That ship owners were extremely careful about who they shared this technology oh, with. Of course. When a rusted, ancient box was pulled from the sea near a small Greek island, no one expected it to rewrite history. It looked like nothing more than a corroded lump of metal, a rock fused with time. But that object, now known as the Antikythera mechanism, wasn't myth or speculation. It was real, an ancient machine over 2,000 years old, built with precision far beyond what anyone believed possible for its era. Inside were gears, calendars, and planetary trackers. It's the earliest known analog computer on Earth. Few of these devices have ever been found. Some historians now believe they may have been more common among ancient Greek shipowners and navigators. Scientists claim the mystery of the Antikythera mechanism has finally been solved. But that's not the big story. The real shock isn't just in how it worked, but what its existence means. This machine hints at a lost era of brilliance, of knowledge and innovation that vanished from history. How did we go from this kind of genius, straight into the Dark Ages? Joe Rogan and Graham Hancock have asked that same haunting question. And their conclusions are, to say the least, unsettling. The story begins in 1901, when a group of sponge divers stumbled upon the wreck of an ancient Roman cargo ship near the island of Antikythera. They weren't searching for lost civilizations, just sponges to sell. But beneath the waves, they discovered a shipwreck that had been sitting undisturbed for more than 2,000 years. Among the usual treasures, statues, coins, jewelry, was something odd and unimpressive, a lump of metal, cracked, corroded, and easily overlooked. But in 1902, archaeologist Vallejo Stares took a closer look. During a major recovery operation, he noticed something embedded in the bronze, a gear. A real gear, crafted with precision. Many dismissed it at first, thinking it had to be a mistake. It wasn't. What they had discovered was not a statue or ornament, it was a machine. Eventually named the Antikythera Mechanism, it would earn its place as the world's first analog computer. Unlike digital machines, this was all gears, wheels, and mechanical elegance. It was built by ancient Greek engineers between 150 and 100 BCE, capable of tracking celestial bodies with astonishing accuracy. It followed the movements of the Sun, the Moon, and the five planets known in antiquity, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. It even predicted eclipses and calculated the timing of the Olympic Games. It was about the size of a show box, but inside were thirty finely crafted bronze gears, some with teeth so precise they rivaled modern engineering. This wasn't decoration. This was technology, millennia ahead of its time. The Antikythera mechanism shattered the narrative of a primitive ancient world. If a machine like this existed over 2,000 years ago, what else might they have built? Why didn't more survive? That's where the mystery deepens. For decades, the device remained a mystery. Too fragile to handle, too damaged to decode, it sat in pieces, 82 fragments, corroded and silent. But advances in technology changed everything. CT scans and powerful X-rays allowed researchers to peer inside without damaging the artifact. What they discovered stunned the world. It was a machine designed to model the cosmos. A crank on the side turned a series of gears that moved dials, each showing the position of the sun, the moon, and the planets. It displayed the phases of the moon and predicted eclipses with uncanny precision. On its back were spiral dials used to count years and track astronomical cycles. One gear had exactly 223 teeth, matching the Saro cycle, which ancient astronomers used to predict eclipses. This wasn't guesswork. It was real science. Inside, a tiny black and white ball spun to indicate lunar phases. It was as if someone had miniaturized a planetarium and hidden it in a metal box. Even more astonishing, it worked. Its accuracy rivaled anything else made for over a thousand years afterward. The precision was mind-blowing, prompting a difficult question, how did they know this? And perhaps more unsettling, how did it all disappear? On April 23, 2019, Joe Rogan hosted Graham Hancock on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast, episode number 1284. They delved into this very question. 
Graham described the Antikythera mechanism as a literal ancient computer, not metaphorical, but mechanical, complete with gears and dials. He explained how it could predict planetary movements, eclipses, and potentially guide sailors like an ancient GPS. Rogan was visibly shaken. Like many of us, he couldn't fathom how such an advanced device had been built more than two millennia ago. It didn't fit our timeline. It challenged everything we thought we knew about human progress. If that level of engineering existed so early, why didn't it spark an age of innovation? Why didn't we see clocks, telescopes, or even basic computing centuries earlier? That's when the conversation turned darker. Hancock raised the possibility of lost knowledge, an entire layer of civilization wiped out by war, disaster, or collapse. Rogan didn't argue. He leaned in, whispering the phrase that captures the feeling best, that's insane, man. And here's where the real sting lies. The mystery of how the mechanism worked is solved. But the feeling it leaves behind is unsettling. Now that we know what it could do, the bigger question is, why didn't it change the world? If ancient Greeks had the ability to build machines like this, why wasn't there a chain of inventions that followed? Why no boom in technology, no ripple effect that led to industrialization centuries early? After the Antikythera mechanism, the historical record goes dark. Nothing else like it appears for over a thousand years. No copies. No upgrades. No evolution. Just silence. That's the gut punch. It suggests something catastrophic happened. Maybe it was war. In 146 BCE, Rome conquered Greece, and in the chaos, cities were burned and libraries destroyed. Maybe the few people who knew how to build such machines were killed, and their knowledge died with them. Others theorize that the mechanism was elite tech, created for priests, astronomers, or navigators, and never meant to be shared widely. And if a machine broke? It could have been melted down. Bronze was valuable. Proof lost to time. There's even the haunting possibility that more devices are still out there, buried in shipwrecks, misidentified in museum storerooms, mistaken for junk. In 2012 and 2015, new artifacts were pulled from the original wreck site, including a bronze disc decorated with a bull, evidence that the site still holds secrets. We've solved the mystery of the Antikythera mechanism, but the real story might still be hidden beneath the waves. We now understand the machine. We've built working models that prove its capabilities. We've matched its gears to real astronomical cycles. But one question linger.